okay hi guys this is going to be a small session of just 20 minutes where we are going to learn how to prepare consolidated cash flow statement for this first you should know what is cash flow if you are a recording student directly watching consolidation without knowing cash flow exit the video go watch as3 cash flow come back over here okay now consolidated cash flow everybody knows cash flow operating investing financing order important first operating then investing then financing correct only no or first next financing operating first then investing financing as much as i remember second will be investing correct or second investing i got scared for a moment okay fine now follow guys what do you mean by consolidated cash flow they would have already prepared cash flow for holding they would have already prepared cash flow for subsidiary now i have to prepare holding plus subsidiary how to do sir how to do now simple what is consolidation line by line addition so if i write operating here add back depreciation 30 add back depreciation 10 here it will be 40 investing in fixed assets here 50 negative here 30 negative here 80 negative line by line addition sir what is the transactions between holding and subsidiary holding gave a loan to subsidiary so for holding it is minus 80 yeah. for subsidiary plus 80 here it will become that's it so it's cash cash flow is for the group as a whole how much cash is coming in going out within the group it's like taking from one pocket and keeping another pocket so it gets set off so consolidated cash flow is nothing but line by line addition subject to nothing else that's it there is no other adjustments for that are you following so we have adjustments see if they give you holding and subsidy then it's easy the complex sum will be they will give you financial statements of holding financial statements of subsidy or imagine they say trial balance of holding trial balance of subsidy given now they are asking you to prepare financial statements of holding financial statement of subsidy using that they are asking you to prepare cash flow of holding cash flow of subsidy now using that prepare consolidated cash flow ca final we don't have are you following anyway you have to study guys when you go to ca final we don't have it over here for us they will give both the cash flows or even if they ask you to prepare cash flow until preparing cash flow it's as3 separately for holding separately for subsidiary you should do only line by line addition for that we have one sum it's not there in the illustrations it's there in example sums in the study mat we are going to solve it together now after that you tell me if you want this in exam or not only one sum easy one it's there in the book guys i have to find it where it is oh, here it is okay fine illustrative only consolidated cash flow they gave with the answer guys they gave total column total you should not take so can you see guys preparation of consolidated cash flow it should be added on line by line basis and intercompany should be that loan that loan here 80 there 80 you will knock off that's it now look at this change in reserve 8 and 2 this will become 10 come here change in pnl 0 1 this will become 1 dividend pay 22 0 are you seeing guys can you see what they are doing they are adding two columns this is the answer this total column is the answer look at this look at the final answer also here 12 here 0 so add both 12 are you getting it off are you following guys this is the question tax payment less 20 less 1 make it 21 add both the columns total 1 do you want this in exam but so far they have never tested so far they have never tested but it's part of our syllabus it's the illustration you know if somebody is having only some note you will not find this i didn't keep it what's the point class we will discuss it's there in study map illustration here is what we gave illustrative only subtly is telling you skip okay but 
the complexity comes in ca final when you have to prepare for a you have to prepare for b and add both are you following guys clear with that cash flow consolidated cash flow is over that's it consolidated pnl we'll discuss later consolidated cash flow comes to an end since we discussed about ca final just one not relevant for your exams now but remember guys this time ca final has 3 plus 3 out of the box discussion unlike ca inter where some students can write group 2 first and group 1 next or group 1 first and group 2 next ca final you cannot do that anymore why what are the papers in ca final fr financial reporting afm advanced financial management basically your strategic financial management and third one is no tax is group 2 audit is group 1 group 2 direct tax is 100 marks indirect tax is 100 marks and they have introduced a new open book exam call integrated business case study what is that you can't write group 2 first and final why fr is basically accounts guys what we are studying now in days that's it complicated sums afm is fm completely different derivatives accounting portfolio management valuation all of that investment banking all of that kind of work auditing is same as auditing law and costing is not an exam anymore law costing is removed i'm sure everybody knows it becomes a self paced module you have to write in the house with system mcq right in the house so you will easily clear but ibs is the key paper ibs they can ask anything meaning they will ask from all the five papers including law and costing are you following guys it's one paper with all subjects are you understanding huh? that means if you want to write group 2 you have to study group 1 so recently one of my friend in old syllabus five years back he passed group 1 now he has to write group 2 he has to study fr sfm again can't do anything nothing no other option are you following guys but this ibs is open book you can take the book and go to exam case study are you following guys not for inter leave it i'm just telling you it's a new paper introduced in it's open book only no new paper introduced it will be case study so they will ask one question comprising direct tax indirect tax indias audit everything put together <laughs> open book not open phone <laughs> So why I am telling you when you are planning for your final, don't think you will write group 2 first. First you have to write group 1, then you have to write group 2. This was there before also in old syllabus. It was an option, elective. There used to be 5 elective papers. Nobody took that. Who, why will I take? Now I say it all. We make it mandatory, no more elective. Okay. But it's easy guys. If you learn together, that means when you are writing group 2, you will study group 1 again. So, what class for this? No class. Learn everything. That's the class for this. That's it. That's it. With that, we are, I mean, the last 10 minutes discussion, ignore guys. Not to scare you, but just to tell you, final has become the real final now. This, this paper. Some students cleared group 2 in all syllabus. They are happy. Only these three papers, they will happily write. Okay. We, you know, I don't know how the question paper will be. I also have to wait till the paper comes and see it. Yes. Yes. Indirect method also same. You prepare the cash tree. His question is what if it's indirect method? Indirect method also same. You prepare separate cash flow for operating, add it. That's it guys. With this we are done with. Console cash flow, small 15 minutes session only. Thank you.